The Bible also teaches us that God's people perish for a lack of knowledge. It is this kind of knowledge that the occult world wants to remain hidden. It is important to understand that there is a spirit world that exists in parallel with our physical world. Our world and the spirit world are linked in such a way that what happens in one, directly affects what happens in the other. Normal people cannot see into this realm, but Satanists, witches and warlocks can. The occult world understands this very well, but this fact has remained hidden from the modern world. The secular world teaches us that what we see with our eyes is all there is, when that is not the case at all. If you study the Bible carefully, you will learn this truth. Hebrews 11 3 says through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. The key here is the word worlds plural. Just as there is more than one heaven, there is more than one world. There is the natural world, and the spirit world. The spirit world is where the true battle is, but few Christians even realize this, much less know how to engage in meaningful spiritual warfare. The key to successfully defeating the chemtrails, demonic clouds, and the hum, is, to rapidly loose enough angels to counter however many demons are presently occupying your sky, at any given moment. This is the most important piece of information in this video, so let's repeat. The key to successfully defeating the chemtrails, demonic clouds, and the hum, is, to rapidly loose enough angels to counter however many demons are presently occupying your sky, at any given moment. Put another way, to stop the demons, you must loose at least one angel to counter every demon present in the sky. Success or failure hinges on you loosing enough angels, into the sky to stop the demons from taking up presidents overhead. All Christians can do this in Jesus' name, no special anointing or qualifications are necessary. You must have faith that Christ has given new authority over the spiritual realm. When you look at the chemtrails, demonic, clouds and hum, you need to understand the fact that they represent the demonic presence. The second heaven above the earth is the home of the demonic principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. When we bind and loose using the keys of the kingdom, God's angels do their work and then return to the third heaven. These warring angels are not permanently stationed here, because the earth is not their home. God has legions of angels waiting to be loosed into battle. This is why he is called the Lord of Hosts, or Angelic Armies. The occult world does not want you to know that you have the power to call them into action at any time through binding and loosing in Jesus' name. A sad fact is that these armies have been sitting idle, because few Christians have called upon the power that Jesus gave them through the keys of the kingdom. It is critical to understand that one single prayer will not work in binding up all the demons in your sky. For example, praying I loose 500 angels to bind every demon in the sky will not work. There are no shortcuts. We must put in time and effort to defeat them. In many cases, the occult world spends days fasting, doing incantations, horrible rituals, and all sorts of wickedness to gain power from the demonic realm. Christians praying a quick five-second prayer will not counter this tremendous effort on behalf of the dark powers. You must become a dedicated prayer warrior if you want to win battles for the Lord. Why doesn't God stop the demons for us? Jesus died and delegated power to Christians here on earth through the gift to us of the keys of the kingdom, which is the gift of binding and loosing here on earth. The problem is, most Christians have never heard of such a thing, and don't understand how God wants to work with his people. God wants to work with us, and not do everything for us. Christians are called to occupy here until Christ returns. That means that God wants us to work with him to defeat this evil. It is a cooperative effort. He is waiting for us to pray to go into action. To pray effectively, we must engage in loosing God's angels to bind the demonic powers in the second heavens and the spirit world, using the keys of the kingdom. God has set up the rules for binding and loosing as follows. We must loose angels on a one by one, 
individual basis when combating the demonic clouds and hum. This has become apparent through experience and praying against demons and people. That means that if there are 100 demons in the sky, we need to loose at least 100 angels to stop them. If there are 500 demons, we need to loose at least 500 angels to stop them. If there are 5000 demons, we need to loose at least 5000 angels to stop them. This would be no problem if every Christian started to bind the demons daily. They would not have to exert so much effort. But it is likely you may be the only person in your community praying against the demons, so it falls on you to pick up their slack. Does that mean that I need to stand outside and pray binding prayers 5000 times? If there are 5000 demons, that is exactly what it means. You will not clear the sky of demons completely until you have done so. Thankfully, the Lord honors shorthand prayers. It is important to learn how to pray in shorthand, and pray without ceasing. So instead of praying a long prayer 5000 times, we reduce it down to the word bind and then reduce that down further to the letter B. Every time we pray the word bind and the letter B, God honors this and sends out an angel to bind one of the demons in the sky. This has been learned through experience. God requires us to call the angel, but as long as we make the call, regardless of how short the call may be, he honors it. This is how one person may make a huge dent in the demonic presence. You may have noticed in the Bible that God likes to do much with little to show his great power. Each binding prayer has a positive effect. Since we cannot count the number of demons visually, praying rapidly for several minutes without ceasing at intervals has proven very effective. When you become tired, take a break, and come back and pray again for another session until things improve. Can you rapidly pray bind for one minute? What about five minutes? Using shorthand prayers you can loose many, many angels into the sky in that period of time. This has the effect of blanketing your area with God's warring angels, who in turn bind up the demonic presence. If there are many demons in the sky, multiple sessions of prayer may be necessary to stop the demonic activity. Thankfully, the Lord honors shorthand prayers, so we can rapidly loose 5000 angels in a few minutes. It doesn't take as long as it sounds. It does require faith, work, persistence, and dedication, but is well worth the effort. Are you willing to set aside a few 5-minute blocks throughout the day and pray without ceasing using shorthand prayers? This is what it will take to see victory. Surely, the Lord will reward those who are willing to do so, according to His Word. To reiterate, for every demon in the sky, you must loose an angel to bind them. You need to loose a flood of angels to counter the flood of demons that is filling our world. Nothing else will work. Let's look at several scenarios. First, let's look at a clear sky with one chemtrail. The chemtrail is a kind of demonic cloud delivery system, establishing and setting up a demonic presence in your area. When praying against the chemtrails, it is important to remember that we are dealing with a kind of particle flow, i.e., a rate of particles per second. The question is, how many demons per second are being emitted from the chemtrail plane as it flies across your sky? It is a question of, rate and volume. This will determine how many angels you need to loose to stop them. Pray BBBBBBBB bind continuously. Pray as fast as you can, rapidly loosing angels for as long as the chemtrails are being distributed across your sky. If you can pray rapidly enough to keep up with the demonic flow rate and volume permitted, no demonic clouds will be established in your area. If you are not able to loose enough angels to completely stop the spray, do not worry, just loose angels afterwards for a while to clean up whatever the first round of prayer did not catch. If there are multiple chemtrails all spraying at the same time, you can alternate your prayers between them. If you have friends available you can all pray against them for reinforcements. You will be amazed at the results. In this particular example, there are no demonic clouds in the sky, so we only need to pray against the demons that are being dropped out of the chemtrail plane. When praying against this case, if there is only one target, you can have very satisfying results by rapidly praying against it until the trail completely disappears.